we might have to scour this place top to bottom to find him, but you know, it's uh. Louisiana keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. I don't like this place's attitude. City makes me uneasy. What have we here? Mission board, self service bounty clearance. They do say the hardest part is showing up. So go out. And I've done that. Uh, hello? Jeez. Oh, you're not who I want. I mean, maybe I should just go back to my room. Uh. Seem to be having some trouble with something. What might that be? Uh, you might say I'm having trouble enjoying the local customs. And what's the point of coming here if, if I'm gonna stay cooped up in my hotel? Believe it or not, I, I'm actually here for my bachelor party. Okay. Uh, my fiance wants me to be more adventurous. So I thought, what better place than neon? I mean, but I yeah. thought the adventure would just happen by default. I, I didn't think I'd have to. Manufacture it on my own. Little life lesson for you. I don't think I caught your name. Usually you have to manifest. Manufacture your own fate. You want money? Go out and get it. Usually I would recommend doing it the legal way. Because, you know, more illicit manners and attaining money can come back to bite you in the, uh, in the butt. Um. Right. You said a bachelor party. Where are your hey, friends? Uh, you still there? Yes, I'm standing right here. Chill. So you came to Neon for your bachelor party, yet I see no friends. One does not normally have a bachelor party for themselves all alone. I've been asking my therapist the same question for years. But he hasn't given me an answer I like yet. I mean... My understanding is that they're not really supposed to be giving you answers you like, but to help you face and work through hard truths. What did your fiancé specifically say that made you believe that you are unadventurous? Oh, it's just the offhand comment here and there. How I, I never take risks or, or, or don't like adventure. Oh. She hasn't said yeah. I'm boring, and I don't, I don't think I am. But looking at my past, I, I can't exactly prove that. This is my way of finding out. Right. Um, are you staying here at the, the Volai Hotel? I, I like that it's not a crate. And I haven't felt anything crawling on me when I sleep, so I feel like they do a good job keeping it clean. Okay. What if someone mugged us right now? I mean, it's a hundred. It's it's possible, highly unlikely. They might mug you, but I think I'm pretty safe. Um, was there a specific thing you wanted to try that brought you to Neon? True. The, the city is known for Aurora, so I figured I should try that. Oh, <laughs> whoa, but come I again? I talked with Dr. Manning about how it works, and now I'm skeptical. No, wait, not skeptical? Terrified. Let me get this straight. Y you felt you were not adventurous enough, so your first thought is, I'm going to go to Neon, and I'm going to do Aurora. Buddy, are you on something? No, you should, like, not do that. Isn't the poison in the dose? 
I'm thinking maybe I can get away with a sniff. O or a bite. I actually don't know how you take it. All the more reason oh, that you shouldn't. This is exactly what my fiancé was talking about. I hesitate too much. But I also don't want to dive right in. I think I want to start with something less damaging to my central nervous system. Supposedly, Madame Sauvage sells a drink called Velocity that's almost like a drug. There's also some local swill people swear by called Blend over at Le Grand's Liquors. What, what, what do you think? You... You, my friend, are, um... Bit of a mess. Go with Blend. It sounds like a safer alternative to anything you've listed previously. Okay, then we'll go with Blend. Good. I'm a bit worried what's in the mix. But that's exactly the kind of cowardice I'm, I'm trying to get over. Or don't. I'll try that I first. I don't know. I don't care. But not right away. I need to uh, prepare myself for the, for the ritual. It, but hey, uh, next time you come back to Neon, do me a favor and check in on me. Make sure I'm not dead. Is the ritual not just going over there and buying the drink and drinking it? Is it not just alcohol with something else in it, probably? Additionally, the next time I'm on Neon, you had better not be here because you had better be wherever your fiance is married to them. You shouldn't have like an interminably permanent hello bachelor party. The, the, the sheer idiot, the sheer idiocy has distracted me from why I'm here. Hello. Are you here to book a room? Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. I'm not necessarily here specifically about booking a room. Um, but if I had to spend significant time here, I might as well learn about places to lodge. What kind of accommodations are we talking? We have finely appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Okay. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Wonderful. But, from what I've heard of Neon, there seems to always be a catch. What's the catch? Nope, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Uh, administrative influence? Well, almost every business in Neon is subject to ridiculous fees and taxes. They claim that it's because Neon occupies such a prime location, having close proximity to Ryujin and mm -hmm. all of the other mega corporations. Okay. But I think you and I both know that's not true at all. Probably not. Uh, that seems to be quite the accomplishment for you to have arranged such a thing. No miracle. Just some good old fashioned ingenuity. But that's a story for another time. <sighs> You can't just so, do that. Can I book You've... you a room for the night? Not presently. How? You piqued my interest. I don't really care a huge amount. But what's your little secret? Maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights, I might let you in on my secret. For now, it'll just have to remain a mystery. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I just need some time to see if I can trust you. I'm sure you understand. It's a weird test. Okay. Well, do you get many tenants? I don't see many people here at the moment. To tell you the truth, not really. And that's one of the consequences with the arrangement between Administrator Bayou and myself. Mm -hmm. He won't hassle me, but there's nothing I can do about my guests being hassled. The last tenant I had was arrested for spitting on the street. As you can imagine, business is not exactly booming. I see. Luckily, I have more than enough capital to cover my expenses, but it still sucks. Was it worth it? 
Um, let's chat about this lovely city of Neon. You mean the stuff Bayou leaves out of the brochures? <laughs> Don't mind at all. Alrighty. Give me the rundown on the districts. Neon has four main districts. The ones where Bayou wants you to spend your credits are Bayou Plaza and Ikuchi Market. Okay. Those are the glitzy parts of town. Bayou Plaza is the section outside my doors from the Trade Tower to the Spaceport. Ikuchi Market runs from <laughs> the Starport Terminal to Ryujin Tower. Okay. Not quite as glamorous as the plaza, but still expensive. Then there's Upside, running the perimeter of the upper platform. Probably not the best spot for tourists. Finally, you have the Underbelly, the working class's domain under our feet. Not much down there, but industry and a few random shops. Interesting. So you mentioned Trade Tower. What's uh, what's that about? Oh, you noticed that little thing? Yeah, that's Bayou's crown jewel. First of all, you have the Astral Lounge, flowing with Aurora, attracting every tourist within light years of Oli. Okay. Then you have exorbitantly priced offices for every megacorp, besides Ryujin, with Xenofresh Fisheries square at the top. And like the cherry at the top of his ego Sunday, Bayou's got his private penthouse. I don't even want to think about what goes on up there. Probably best. So, Ebside, you said it isn't really tourist friendly. Is it like just high crime? What's the deal? No, I don't think so. Ebside's filled with a few decent clubs like Madame Salvage's Place and Euphorica. You should check them out. Oh. Just watch your back. It's gang territory, which means Neon Security tends to ignore what goes on in there. I see. And the underbelly, what about that? Most of the underbelly is taken up by Xenofresh and Jennerdyne's facilities, but there are a few hidden gems you might want to check out. Actually, I'd recommend checking out Offworld Eats. Cosmos and Lee run that place. They're a couple of great guys. Um, okay. That's, I guess, it for now. Sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else. Um, yes. Uh, I do have a delivery for someone that is supposed to be staying here uh, for a Natan Ovadia from his daughter. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. She will. You just gave that info up incredibly easily. Welcome, Offworlder, to the Hotel Polar. Um, I don't know how well I like that. Oh, the whole place smells of fish. You would think that would keep people away. You'd think. Knock, knock. Hello. Ah, you must be Natan? Well, let's make this quick. Yes, Mr. O Ovadia. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? Eh? Mm-hmm. I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. That so she does. what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? Uh... So, I'm actually here to talk to you about your daughter, Rivka. Um, whiskey was more or less just to get me in. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. Idiot. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. No. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Not foolish at all. Um, I think, however, you need the both of you need to just figure your stuff out. Maybe it's best for her to just live on her own, do her own thing without being constantly hassled. She, your daughter, wanted you to have this whiskey 
saying that it would mean a lot to you. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. She is. So I'm going to kind of cut to the chase. Rivka, she is sick. And she is refusing to go and seek treatment because she's afraid of you finding her. Which is highly likely, without treatment, to cause her to die. She would really put her own life at risk due to me? Yeah. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. What a conundrum. Isn't it? What do you think Belinda would have wanted you to do? I don't think that what you're doing is what she would want. Belinda. How oh, I miss her. Yeah. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. You said it, not me. I think that you're beginning to start to see she might, might have done some bad things and her actions should certainly have some sort of consequence. I don't disagree with that. Um, it's kind of like a universal law of the universe, like rule number three or something. But your actions are also having consequences, potentially ending with your daughter's death. I think we can figure something out. I don't disagree with you. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young, and while foolish, she is still my daughter. Blood is blood. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. So, is this meaning that you will forgive her? Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. Sensible. I was actually... Good day. That was a lot easier than I'd expected. I was definitely expecting a much Welcome tougher go. To huh. Interesting. I'm... I think it was a decision made in the heat of the moment. High emotions and all. And... As such, uh, he didn't want to look like he was, I don't know, weak or some nonsense and decided that he wasn't going to, um, you know, what? Why is my watch alerting me about a Frank Rennick? I don't know. Uh, Stroud Eklund, though, seems to be the next place of interest for Walter and I. Let us stick to business here, and hopefully business has nothing to do with Aurora. Agreed. Um, hello. On behalf of Stroud Eklund, I'd like to welcome you. Cool. You... I don't see Walter. Hello. On behalf of Strout Eklund, I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. Cool. Our company prides itself as the industry leader in spacecraft production. That's we lovely. We use groundbreaking technology to give us a significant advantage over our competitors. You can configure your desired spacecraft 
at any one of our conveniently located kiosks. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, thank you. If you're in the market for spacecraft, and Dreja, I get the feeling we're in the wrong place. I would have sworn that uh, he went. I think I found my error. So I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bailey is a slightly inflated They reveal that some UC guards were aiding the infamous Jack yeah. Rick. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Um. Right. For some reason, um, I'm thinking trade power is probably where we need to go. Trouble or we'll have a problem. Clearly, the intent is to Shut get us up. into the astral lounge. Shall we follow the signs? Uh, I don't want to. I just. <sighs> I just want. Truthfully, to get out of this place. <sighs> okay. I think we have a few things we have to deal with here, though. Least of which is Walter's. Mm, interesting needs to be here. Uh, nope, that's on like. Shoot. Aquila. Yeah, Aquila City. It's like crap. <laughs> um, nope, nope. Salinas from Red Mile. No, not really interested in that right now. I need to get the heat off my back first. Um, no, no. All right. I need to go to Ryujin Tower. I'm actually interested in this one. Back to the grind. Not interested. So, fun fact, Andresia. Um, I don't know what compelled me to do it, but. I filled out a job application for Ryujin. Um, and apparently, there is a question that Ryujin has some influence here in New York. I wonder how Mr. Bayou feels about that. I'm sure it's probably mutually beneficial. Um, yes, I am assuming this is probably it. And I answer pretty poorly, but they have really low hiring standards. And as such, they want to interview me. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to Ryujin Tower, the beating heart of Ryujin Industries. I'm Jupiter, the tower's secretary. Can I help you with something? Um, I am here for an interview with an Imogen? Emoji? Salzo? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Wonderful. It's always nice to meet a potential co-worker. Uh, yeah. Miss Salzo will be conducting your interview today. You'll find her office upstairs. You'll okay. find Miss Salzo's office on the operations floor. Just take the elevator at the back of the lobby. And don't forget to check out the Ryujin Industry Store in the back of the lobby before you leave. No visit to Ryujin Tower is complete without a look at our patented NeuroAmp technology after all. Hello. Do you ever get the sense? Um that you're about to walk into a very poorly thought out, potentially disastrous situation, yet you still walk forward. Knowing this? Yeah, I'm getting that feeling Welcome right to now. Hi. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. 
Yeah. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? Yeah. So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Um, I do have some questions. And hopefully I have some answers. What does Regent actually do? Oh, wow. You're serious? Well, Ryujin is the tech industry leader in the settled systems, mostly known for neuroamps, which exploded on the scene about 15 years ago. Oh, who? Other than that, our products include operating systems, security, various quality of life improvements for the home. We're like a full package. If you I really thought you were going to say info, that the neuro amp I'd recommend exploded. reading up at one of the kiosks. They've got this company's entire history listed. At least the history they want you to know. Right. Um. Little uh, note on your whole spiel. Maybe, just maybe, don't use the word exploded with relation to the neuro amps. Because those go in your body. And if they explode, that generally has a very adverse effects on a human body. You know what I mean? Maybe use some other sort of terminology to indicate that they rose in popularity. You know what I mean? Just better sounding. Uh... Oh, guess we're done here. Yeah. Crap. I'm... More curious than I should be, and I know this is not going to go well. That if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. Oof. Feel that. Um. <laughs> I'd hate to be on Miss Salzo's bad side. Okay. Cool. Cool story. Hello. I've got my eye on you. Lovely. Is this is this it? Hello. No Hello. wander into any restricted areas. Uh, I can't make a promise when I don't know where restricted areas are. That's a bathroom. Hello? Did he say down a flight of stairs or up a flight of stairs? I feel like this is restricted. Hello? Don't cause any trouble. Uh, okay. Apparently this is still all above board. Keep out Hi. of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Oh, this is... This seems to be the prison. I'm assuming we took a wrong turn someplace. Thinking back on it, had I listened to, uh... The receptionist's name? Probably wouldn't have been an issue. Nope, storage. Don't mind me, I'm, uh... Totally supposed to be here. A gala at the New Atlantis Free Star Embassy. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, you look semi important. I hope I can wrap up this next assignment quick. The Razor Ball tournament starts tonight. Okay. Nope. Nope. How about here? I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. Um, I'm sure they understand that in the end, they need you more than you need them. Yes. I'm leaving the door open. Just so you know. All right. All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. And We're here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Cool. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match, which I'll take up with our technicians later. Great. We're so, on the same page. Let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? I am 
um, so glad that I'm not the only one that feels that I'm wildly in or like unqualified for this position. Cool. Um, I'm, 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 I'm truthfully here. I mean, credits are nice. More out of curiosity. I can appreciate an honest answer. And if you're hired, you'll be making far more than just a few credits. Provided you're successful, of course. This next one should be interesting, considering you marked having zero experience. Bingo! Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Oh. Uh... I'm not... at all qualified for this. Aren't we both? I'm just going to take your answer at face value. This is getting interesting to me. Oh no. How motivated are you to succeed? Oh no. Oh no. I mean, generally speaking, it depends on what I'm working on and towards. Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive level position. Oh no. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. I have a and bad finally, feeling about this. My last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Um... Uh... I mean, to be honest... I think I'm wildly out of my depth here. Huh. With that attitude, I think you meant five weeks. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary what? period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Um... So, I got a new job. 